Hello Evo 456 fans, my name is Aaron with Club 456 and I'm here today to talk about our club car, one of our race cars we've been developing over the last few years. This is a 1996 Evolution 4 RS. So here we have the front of the car. There's quite a few modifications from the standard Evolution 4 RS. So up front here we have the fog light blanks with the bride livery. This bumper here was a bumper that I had found actually on eBay. It's a fiberglass bumper that uh, has really an unknown origin. When I spoke to the seller on eBay, it was off of a car that was being uh, dismantled in the UK for parts, and it was a fresh import from Japan. When I got the bumper a few years back, uh, it didn't have any inner structure, so I had to fabricate an inner structure for the bumper support to attach to. It's basically just a fiberglass shell. The front of it is about two inches lower than a standard Evo 4 bumper. On top of that as well, I added a full splitter with integrated canards and the splitter extends all the way back to the firewall on the uh, underside. Uh, moving over to the front fender of the car, we had added various flared fenders. These add approximately 30 millimeters of width. And what that had allowed us to do is run a 17 by nine wheel with a 265 tire. Over here as well, we have uh, endless six pot brakes. So they're referred to in Japan as six pot minis. We also have a triangulation brace under the fender as well as bracing under the hood. And uh, just for looks, we have clear corner lights as well. Moving to under the hood of the Evolution 4RS, we have quite a few modifications here. We have a tubular exhaust manifold that was added as well as a Evo 6 GSR turbo. And for ignition, we have the coil on plug set up with a custom plate. All the hard pipes have been added, eliminating the plastic and rubber Mitsubishi pipes. And we have an aftermarket recirculation valve by Synapse. The car is running approximately 20 pounds of boost, which isn't uh, a huge amount in Evo world, but it's definitely enough power for tarmac circuit. And we've been pretty successful at that boost level for long Across the top here we have a custom aluminum strut tower brace and we also have Blitz ZZR 30-way adjustable coilovers. So moving on to the interior of our Evolution 4 RS, we have a uh, bride seat here. We have Takata harnesses, uh, personal suede steering wheel, as well a C's shifter which is pretty rare for this model. It uh, raises the pivot point of the shifter up about an inch and that allows you to extend the neck of the shifter without uh, lengthening the throw. Uh, as well we have a six point roll bar that's welded into the car and a air fuel gauge and a boost gauge mounted on a custom pod over here. Basically the car from the factory came with a lot of nice features there was no airbags, crank windows, no air conditioning, and that's all RS features, which really helps with transitioning this car into a race car. Now we're at the back of the car here, and as you can see, the flares have been added to the car. Those are from uh, Evolution 5 and Evolution 6. The flares had to be glued to the side of the car. You can use the stock clips as well if you want to drill holes in the body of the car. I opted to use a automotive grade adhesive, which actually is used to fasten fairings onto semi-trailers. So. It's uh, plenty strong to add a small flare to uh, a race car. With that flare, you do have to cut back a little bit of the wheelhouse. And in that area, we opted to spot weld the uh, layers of steel back together and then reseal it so it uh, won't have uh, any vulnerability to corrosion. Next on the back of the car, we opted to do a diffuser the bottom of the car. The diffuser is mounted to custom mounts. One is directly in front of the differential and two more are mounted to where the spoiler integrates into where the stubs for the rebar for the rear bumper were. So the idea is is that any sort of downforce created by this arrow is going to be exerted onto the frame of the car. We had some problems in past seasons with the 
trunk specifically deforming and that was running a fairly large GT wing as well. So we moved to this style of uh, mount just to save some body panels and to allow all of the force to go into the frame of the car rather than distorting body, body panels through flex. The spoiler that we're using on the car is a carbon fiber blade. It's very large. And here we have the stands for the spoiler. They're approximately half inch aluminum. There's no steel back here, including the diffuser of the car. The diffuser is made out of quarter inch aluminum as well. This looks like it might weigh quite a bit, but in actuality, it's fairly light. The only steel portion is going to be where it's bolted here. It's bolted to steel plate and it has a uh, square steel tubing that goes into where the relief for the frame would be. And then it's bolted from the inside. So here we are into the car. Just wanted to show you the rear diffuser here. It basically attaches to where one of the exhaust hangers was at the back of the differential. There was a custom bracket made to hang this. It's uh, quite robust. I could probably hang off of it. I'm not going to, of course, because the car's on a lift and that's not safe but it's not going anywhere. All the splines are made out of quarter inch aluminum as well, and they're welded to the main plate. Here we have the RS diff, and uh, we just cleaned it up, painted the case, painted the cover, and made sure that the plated LSD was in good health, which it was. We have a oversized Cusco rear stabilizer bar, or sway bar, uh, with the white line end links that are also adjustable for the track, and as well the rear blitz coilovers. The exhaust on the car is built for the racetrack. It's not an extensively long system. It's uh, HKS elbow coming off the turbo into a three inch custom downpipe, and then into a three inch double resonated exhaust system with with just a dump. It is fairly loud, but it's within the decibel level of the track. It saves some weight and it also allows us to not disturb any of the air that's going past the rear diffuser. Also, a nice feature that was integrated into the car was the uh, downpipe is actually oval three inch, which is flared into circle three inch after the H brace. These braces from Cusco are very good for stabilizing the A-arms. Problem is, is that you traditionally cannot fit a three inch exhaust tube between this type of brace and the body of the car. So what we did is we did a custom oval downpipe uh, to be able to clear that. So it's kind of a situation where we can have both, which is very nice. And you can also see that the uh, front splitter and the under tray extend all the way to the firewall of the car. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more JDM EVO related videos, subscribe to our channel. For the most up-to-date news about Club 456, visit our Instagram or Facebook. Links in the description below. Also, check out our website at club456.ca for more JDM content and technical articles. See you soon!